right, Ben arrived in Berlin where he's staying for a month in this flat, which is the artist flat. And we just kept our fingers crossed that they got on because the last show, for example, the, the artists and the, the two artists, one of whom was from Berlin and one of whom was from London, which is always the pattern that we have in Loeb, which is the organization that I've started with other people. And it was a little bit like a blind date. They didn't know each other. And then I emailed both of them and I said, look, you know, I want to do a show with both of you and you're going to have a month in a space and it's not curated. I put you together and then that's it. You're on your own. And fortunately, the space is unrenovated so you can really take it apart, do what you want. This, this old building, I mean, people live in old buildings and they really don't know what's going on behind the walls and what the history the history of um, yeah that, that that existed how cables used to be um, installed in, in old in, in buildings and what they existed from the materialistic of cables and they're just like and I mean all the sockets are still in use but I also thought that's really interesting to find all the different cables still supplying you with electricity every day electricity. To, know, to, to brush at night, <laughs> to, to, um, to blow dry your hair or whatever. Just like this, this old building, I mean, you, people live in old buildings and they really don't know what's going on behind the walls. I think this, this is like a very interesting, I think this is the most interesting one, where I started off with this socket down here, and I went on, and actually I found this old socket, which was like plastered away. And I went on, and I actually found this cable, this cable where you can see that like, yeah, what, what, what I said in the fifties, they diagonally put the cable on the wall. They didn't. They, they at that time they didn't have the worries about people hitting cables when they put nails in the wall, obviously. And yeah, and then this cable, as you can see, is like leaks like this. And here you can see. Um, I cut the cable and I found copper and, and two different plastic isolations. In the 20s they didn't, uh, the, first, the first cable I found is just like pure cloth around the cables which means that they didn't have any more isolation, I mean nowadays they have two or three layers of isolation that as an artist you just, you know, like doing this work you're, you don't know where you end up, you don't know where your, where your work will end up so it actually like literally like the most interesting cables ended up being around the entrance door and, uh, and next to this, um, what is it called, the, the electric supply box. So yeah, so here I found most cables just at the entrance. And I think that's very nice that, that, that you end up with a show where, where really the, 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 the apartment or the, the building determines um, your work so much that you will end up showing your, your, your work next to the, next to the entrance. So also the visitors coming to the space, they actually they, they are in the same position as me. They have to go around and find find the hidden cables here next to the door. Like not obviously exposed for visitors, but also you have to go around and detect them yourself or find them yourself. Basically, I, I've been here for a month. Um, I, I sort of made the deliberate decision not to bring any work with me. It was, for me, it was much more interesting to just sort of be here and react to, to the gallery, react to Berlin, react also to Antonio's work. I like to challenge institutions, galleries, I like to challenge the viewers, I like to push, it's a bit less than a, yeah, kind of, 
But um, it was really very interesting suddenly being given free reign to sort of almost make as much mess as I possibly wanted. It's called the Health and Safety Violation Series, which are works that deliberately set out to either be dangerous or to sound dangerous. So, you know, people, people who want to do the works have to sign a liability waiver form. And as is common with most of the legal documents you read about it, they're, they're, all, they're all on random timers and some microcontrols, but I would forget that it was on and then it would switch on and I would jump. So, yes. So, it's basically, they're, they're sort of affecting the space and affecting how secure people feel with the work and the space. You know, it's not a sort of painting show or a water, there's a watercolour list for it's sake. It's not a sort of show of watercolours where you can walk in and like quietly contemplate how beautiful they are. You know, it's, it's in your face, it's a bit fucking strong, some of it, and I like it.